Welcome to the world of R4J, Requirements Management for Jira. I'm Bernhard from eSolution and will explain you today how to create issues and requirements in the R4J tree. As you may know, the context menu offers you the option to create new folders within your tree structure. You only need to provide a folder name and a short description. Attachments are also possible. By activating the check mark Create Another, you can create several folders at the same time. As easy as creating new folders, it is to create a new issue. It works in the very same way. You can create new issues directly underneath a folder. When you create a new issue, you have to select an issue type and fill in all required fields. For this creation dialog, Jira allows your administrator to define different fields per issue type. The advantage of R4J is that you can easily add issues which are already in your Jira project. You don't need to create everything new inside R4J. That will save you a lot of time. Let's see how this works. There are different ways to add existing issues. One is to choose the option to automatically add all issues which are already in your current project. You can just click Add and all issues from your Jira project will be added to the tree. If you have a need to insert Jira issues to R4J on a regular basis, you can use the option to schedule the import. This is very helpful if you have users in your system who regularly create issues in the project outside from R4J. For example, bugs are documented by an external system and you would like to organize them in a certain folder. Then you can specify that they will be added to R4J every 60 minutes or any other time. The system will check in this interval if there are new items and add them to the defined location. Another option to add issues is using a filter. You can either use a Jira query language, JQL filter, or your saved filter queries to add in content here. You are also able to search for issues. You can just type in parts of the summary or issue key and search for it. You can also move issues around. That's helpful if they are already in the tree, but you would like to arrange them into another location. You can also drag and drop them within the tree. The option in here allows to get issues from different folders and move them into one new target. As you can see, you are very flexible to set up structures and issues within R4J. You can add issues, create new issues, insert already existing issues from any project, schedule adding of issues, move issues within the folder structure. So far about adding and creating of issues. Please check out our other recordings for detailed feature descriptions. For in-depth information, get in touch with your contact persons at eSolutions. We will be glad to provide you with expert guidance and best practices. Also a demo of R4J requirements management for Jira can be arranged. 